Fox 8 again is your local election headquarters. And the first day of early voting for the midterms is one week from today. And this election season, fighting misinformation has been a growing priority in election offices across the country. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer talked with a professor at Elon University about sorting through the information you receive from candidates. She joins us from the newsroom. Caroline, this is something we're seeing more and more often. Dr. Amanda Sturgill tells me even if you don't believe the fake ads and posts you come across, they can still affect your perception of a candidate, even if the misinformation is unreasonable. That can have a significant effect on elections. That's why she's suggesting voters do their research before heading to the polls. People are online almost all day and they're getting ads, they're getting social media messages, things like that. And so you've got more stuff to filter through and less to go on to know if it's quality information or not. A growing number of Americans have concerns about misleading claims ahead of the midterm election. A new poll from the Pearson Institute shows 91% of adults think the spread of misinformation is a problem. 80% of Democrats and 70% of Republicans say it increases extreme political views and 77% of respondents think it increases hate crimes. If you see a bad piece of information and you believe it and you share it with other people, you've just taken what was a small problem and made it a bigger problem. And then when you've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of users who are all doing the same thing, it really makes the whole media environment unreliable. In recent months, we've seen an example of this in the Piedmont triad. This photo shows Democratic candidate Ricky Hurtado wearing a defund the police shirt. He's running for re-election to represent Alamance County in the state house. A flyer with the image came to homes across the county in the mail. The problem is it's fake. This is the actual image of Hurtado. Dr. Amanda Sturgill is a journalism professor at Elon University and says it's getting harder to spot these fake photos. What that means for people who are the consumers of news and want to be, you know, engaged citizens and thoughtful voters and all of those kind of things, they need to get better at asking questions about the information that they're getting. Dr. Sturgill has three questions you can ask yourself to help detect deception before casting a ballot this election season. Where is the information coming from? What is the source? And why would a source want you to know the information? You're more likely to be manipulated if you're feeling something strongly. So if you're feeling very happy, sad, uh, jealous, angry, any of those kinds of things, you want to think an extra time. Dr. Sturgill says you have to be careful what you're reading online. Oftentimes you're only getting some of the facts and they're taken out of a bigger context. The polls open October 20th. Early voting runs through November 5th leading up to Election Day on November 8th.